So let's try to go for one more problem from Newton's law where we will use tension and uh, all the equation of constraint just like we have used into the last class. So let's try to go for this one. This is very wonderful problem, excellent problem. So you have some pulley and uh, there is a mass M0. So this is your mass M0 and there is a string and after then there is one more pulley and there is mass m1 and m2 so this is mass m1 and m2 what we have to do we have to find the acceleration of m0 you can find acceleration of m1 also you can find acceleration of m2 also but what we have to do we have to find acceleration of m0 so how we will approach this problem and everything is frictionless so there is not any problem and this pulley is uh, uh, massless you can think on this is uh, uh, this pulley is, you can just assume this is this has not any mass in ideal sense so let's try to go for this problem. What we assume? We assume that this mass M0 is moving with acceleration A0. And then what is going to happen? This mass will go in this particular direction. And the result of that, hence this string is, the length of this string is fixed. Then this complete arrangement, this complete arrangement, will go downward with acceleration A1, sorry, A0. The whole thing is going downward with acceleration A0, isn't it? And with respect to Earth, we have to find each and everything. So with respect to Earth, I can assume its acceleration is A1 and its acceleration is A2. So what we have to do, we have to write the equation of motion. So what will be my equation? And what will be my equation of motion? So let us assume it has tension T. So this tension will be in this drop for this particle. What will be direction of tension? Upward or downward? Upwards. Upwards. Upward. So direction of tension is upward. So always keep in mind. And for this rope, is that tension will be exactly same at T or that is different from T? That is different from T because it is different string. And you can assume that this tension is T1 upward or downward for this pulley? Downward. Downward. Last class, I have a student who has a lot of money. So this will be downward or upward for this pulley? Obviously, downward. For this pulley, this is also downward. And this will be also tension T1. And this will be mass M1G. And for this mass, what will be tension? Upward or downward? Bataye? Anyone? Except Chanchur? Except Chanchur? Anyone? Upward or downward? Upward, sir. Upward. 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 Boy, very good. Very good. That means you are pulling the thing. So just try to think the mass, how you are going to pull it. And that is the the tension and think it's independently for each and every mass, each and every pulley. Yes. And what about this one? This one is again T1 is what? Upward. And this will be M2G. Now, we will just go and write the equation of motion for M0, equation of motion for this pulley, and equation of motion for M1, and equation of motion for M2. So for M1, what will be equation of motion? T is equal to M0 A0 because there is not any friction. Whatever be the motion, what will be the acceleration is provided by this particular tension. So T is equal to M0 A0. Okay. Now just come for this particular pulley. So for this particular pulley, what will we form? T1 minus, sorry, T minus, or you can, this is going downward. So you can write 2 times T1 minus T must be equal to 0. Why it is 0? Why it is 0? 
Because it is massless. M into A naught, zero into A naught. So why it is zero? Okay. So from here, I can have T1 is equal to T by two. So this is one of the very fundamental thing we have calculated. Now for this equation, what do you have to do? Now we can replace T1 is equal to, so you, T1 is equal to T by two. So I can write M1G minus T by two is equal to M1, A1. And similarly, we will go for M2G minus T by two is equal to M2, A2. So now how many equation you have? We have used this one. So how many unknown now? A naught is one unknown. T is another unknown. A1 is another unknown. A2 is another unknown. So how many equation is there? Three. Three equation. But how many unknown is there? Four. Four. So you need one more equation, isn't it? We have okay. already used this thing. Iska use kar liye, tabhi toh par likha T by two, T by two. Okay. So I have used this thing. So what will be the another one? Ek aur equation chahiye. Wo kahan se milega? Constraint equation. Equation of constraint. So what will be equation of constraint? You can write here a naught is equal to a one plus a two by two. Yaad hai? Exactly same problem hai na? Now this is just going downward with acceleration a naught. And now you have a naught is equal to a one plus a two by two. And you can solve this problem. I have solved myself. So I have not taken time. Nahi le so the answer is, you can just verify this answer and let me know where I am correct or not. So that will be G by 1 plus M naught by 4. And that value is 1 upon M1 plus 1 upon M2. So this is your answer. You can just verify and let me know. Aap ek se jarur solve karo. Hai na? Very interesting problem. This problem is from Eurodope. Hai na? Hum log Eurodope ke problems kar rahe hai. Basically, they all are very nice problem. Theek hai? So I think this is the maximum level you can go into your exam because you are just giving the objective examination. So question will be not very tough. Just a very fundamental question. You have to just understand the thing very fundamentally. Are you people happy right now? Yes, sir. Yes. Chalo. Let's try to go for one of the very fundamental question again to understand the tension. And what is the role of pulley? Ye jara hum samajhne ki koshish karte. Itna itna pulley de dete hain. Kya ho jata hai? Kaise sir, usko... Haan, yes, batayye. Sir, ye second pulley ke liye jo tension niche ki direction lag raha hai, sir. Wo samaj mein nahi aa raha, sir. Kaise hoga niche ki ur? Ye wala? Yes, sir. Ye kal se mein aapko baat bata raha hoon. Aap log pata nahi ye chiz samaj kiyo nahi pa raha ho. भाई ये आपका पुली है एक स्ट्रिंग आपका ऐसे ऊपर लगा हुआ है एंड दो स्ट्रिंग नीचे है ठीक है ऐसा ही तो है अब इसके ऊपर इसमें इस और इस स्ट्रिंग में टेंशन देना है कैसे टेंशन दोगे ये बताओ टेंशन का हिंदी मतलब क्या होता है आप तो हिंदी में लग रहे हो हिंदी का मतलब क्या होता है खिंचाव सर खिंचाव खींचना जोर से बोलो क्या होता है खींचना सर खींचना तो कैसे खींचोगे इसको जरा मुझे ये दिखा दो ऊपर ऐसे करके खींचोगे दो ही तो ऑप्शन है आपके पास नीचे की ओर से नीचे की इस यहां से कैसे खींचोगे पहले ये बताओ इस रोप को कैसे खींचोगे ऊपर किधर लगाओगे टेंशन किधर खींचोगे ऊपर आप टेंशन मत बोलो मुझे खींचना है आप ये बोलो आप ये बोलो कि मुझे पार्टिकल को खींचना है कैसे खींचोगे ऊपर की तरफ ऊपर की तरफ खींचोगे अब आप बोलो मुझे पार्टिकल को नीचे खींचना है कैसे खींचोगे नीचे नीचे की ओर से मास लगाकर अरे कुछ भी आप कैसे खींचो मास लगा करके छोड़ो आप कैसे खींचोगे कैसे टेंशन कैसे डेवलप करोगे नीचे डेवलप करो खुश हो गए यहां पर चलो अब मास की बात करते हैं यहीं पर तो लगा हुआ है आपका स्ट्रिंग ऐसा ही स्ट्रिंग है ना यस सर एम1 अब इस मास को खींचना है कैसे खींचोगे ऊपर की ओर सर ऊपर की तरफ खींचेंगे इस वाले मास को खींचना है कैसे खींचोगे बताओ ऊपर की ओर ऊपर की तरफ खींचोगे हो तो क्या आर यू गेटिंग माय पॉइंट 
यस सर यस आप कंफ्यूज हो जा रहे हैं ये दो डायरेक्शन को देख करके आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट यस यस ये दोनों को अलग अलग देखना है भाई कब से मैं आपको बता रहा हूँ वेन यू आर डूइंग वेन यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम द थिंग इट आस इंडिपेंडेंटली थिंग एवरी पार्ट ऑफ योर प्रॉब्लम इज इंडिपेंडेंटली आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट ये सर ये पुल, स्टिंग पुल्ली मतलब ये पुल्ली जो मासलेस नहीं सही इसीलिए मुझे कंफ्यूज हो रहा था कि नीचे की ओर मासलेस होगा मास होगा तो फिर क्या दिक्कत हो जाएगा डायरेक्शन थोड़ी चेंज हो जाएगा ठीक है सर ओके समझ ओके भाई मास होगा तो उसमें कुछ और इफेक्ट आ जाएंगे बट डायरेक्शन थोड़ी टेंशन का चेंज हो जाएगा है ना ओके चलो मैं आपसे एक और बात देखो मैकेनिक्स जब भी पढ़ना है तो आपको एक चीज के बारे में बात करना है वो आपको ये बात करना है कि कोई भी मैकेनिकल सिस्टम क्यों बनाया जाता है बता सकते हो चंचूर मैं तुमसे क्वेश्चन पूछता हूं वाई यू नीड टू मेक एनी मैकेनिकल सिस्टम क्यों बनाते हो कोई भी मैकेनिकल सिस्टम का मेन पर्पस क्या होता है एक पुली लगा दिया दो पुली लगा दिया आप देखोगे बहुत सारे पुली कहीं कहीं लगा देते हैं उसका फाइनल इफेक्ट क्या होता है फाइनल आउटकम आप क्या देखना चाहते हो ये समझना बहुत ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है तभी आप मैकेनिक्स कर पाओगे वेन यू विल नॉट अंडरस्टैंड द पर्पस ऑफ योर सिस्टम देन इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू डू नाउ आई एम जस्ट मेकिंग अ स्टोरी एंड लेट्स कम टू दिस स्टोरी एंड इसको आप थोड़ा समझने की कोशिश करो सपोज आई हैव हंड्रेड के जी हंड्रेड के जी का मास है एंड वॉट आई वॉन्ट आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू होल्ड इट स्टेशनरी मैं इसको रोकना चाहता हूं एंड आई हैव ओनली वन रोप मेरे पास एक रोप है हाउ मच फोर्स आई हैव टू एग्जर्ट आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू होल्ड इट क्या एग्जर्ट करना पड़ेगा हंड्रेड न्यूटन यस You you just want to hold this mass with some rope. How much how much tension you have to give this particular rope? Exactly hundred meter hundred newton. You have to pull this whole thing with hundred newton force. So ये अगर आप hundred newton force लगाओगे तो ये रुका रहेगा. अगर hundred newton से ऊपर लगाओगे तो ये ऊपर चला जाएगा. और किसी तरह आपका force कम हुआ, then it will go downward. Isn't it? Now let's try to make a very interesting system, and then we will try to figure it out. What is going to happen? क्या हो रहा है इस सिस्टम को? वो हम जरा देखने की कोशिश करते हैं. Okay, let's try to go for this. Same. This is your hundred newton. Okay, hundred newton का weight है. M into g is hundred newton. And let me make the पिक्चर वेरी क्लियरली सो दिस इज रिजिट सपोर्ट एंड देर इज माई वन पुली एंड दिस पुली इज अटैच समथिंग लाइक दिस देर इज अनदर पुली एंड दिस पुली इज अटैच समथिंग लाइक दिस एंड देर इज थर्ड पुली एंड विच इज अटैच विथ now this is your system okay and all pulley is massless i am not giving any mass to this pulley my question is that now how much force you are going to impart and here you have to pull this particular thing such that so you are just going to pull with this force f so the question is that what will be value of f such that 100 newton mass will hanged stationary ruka hua hai hai na stationary ruka hua rahe mass aapko kitna aap is par force laga sakte ho kitna force lagana hoga agar main ek hi rope rehta to 100 newton hi hota yes now let us try to calculate this particular force so this is your f let's say the tension here is t or you can say t1 
So what will be tension here? T1. Yes, and tension here is also T1. And this tension is what? So make a karke bana raha alag alag. Theek hai? So ye first wale ke liye hai. So this force is F. And this is your direction of tension for this pulley. And this is your direction of tension for this particular mass. Okay. Now, this is for first one. And here, let's say this tension is what? This is your T1. This is your T1. And let's say this tension is T2. So what is this tension? The whole string have tension T2. And what about this pulley? Is pulley ko hum agar baat kare, second pulley. This is my first pulley. Let's go to second pulley. Second pulley mein kya ho jayega? This will be what? T2. Hai na? Ye kya hai? This will be T2. And this will be also T2. And this will be what? T3. Isn't it? Aisa hi to hai? And let's try to go for in this. And this is what? T3. And this is your tension. And this ke upar, first wale ke upar tension hai. T1, second wale per T2, second, third wale per T3. Now, what will happen to third one? Third one ke liye kya hoga? Jara dekho. This will be, sorry. For third pulley, this is direction T3. And this is your direction T3. Isn't it? And you can have some also direction. It is T4. It is nothing to do with this particular thing. And now can I say T1 and what about this particular mass? This mass have free body diagram. Something like T3 T2 T1 and this will be my weight mg hence there is not any acceleration what is your value of t1 plus t2 plus t3 is equal to what 100 newton yes, yes t1 plus t2 plus t3 is equal to what 100 newton now let us try to go from here can i say f is equal to t1 from here yes sir Hannah? So from here, we can have F is equal to T1. And from there, can I say T2 is equal to 2 times T1? Yes, sir. Lik sakta hai isme? Yes. Yes. And for the second one, can I say T3 is equal to 2 times T2 and which will equal to 2 into 2 times T1? लिख सकते हैं इसे? I am just writing each and everything yes. in term of T1. लिख सकते हैं क्या? Yes, sir. Uh, yes. So now we are just putting all this thing here. So what will happen? T1 plus 2 time T1 plus 4 time T1 is equal to what? 100? So what will be T1? T1 is equal to what? 100, 100 by 7. Six. And this T1 is actually what? Your force. And that value is equal to 100 by 7. So now look at here. Now look at what is going to happen. Due to this particular arrangement, you need only 100 by 7, 1 by 7th time of weight to hold this particular system. Are you getting this thing? Yes, sir. If you put one pulley, so, usme aapko, suppose you have something like this. Suppose you have this kind of situation. Sorry, I am here. Suppose you have this kind of situation. And this is your mass. And here is your one pulley. Suppose you have something, this kind of situation. And you have to hold it. Then how many force you have to give this particular thing? 100 Newton. Isn't it? Hoga na? Suppose aapko aisa koi yes, arrangement sir. de de, to aapko kitni force laga ni padegi? 100 Newton. You have to apply 100 Newton force. Just hold this particular thing. 
but thing is that due to this arrangement and due to this distribution of forces into this particular tension you need only 100 by 7 100 by 7 amount of force to hold this particular thing are you getting my point so whenever you are doing any problem jab bhi aap is tarah ke problem karte ho the purpose is very important पर्पस ये है कि आपका एफर्ट मिनिमाइज होना चाहिए दिस इज ऑल द ऑल पार्ट ऑफ पर्पस ऑफ मैकेनिक्स कोई भी मैकेनिकल सिस्टम हम इसलिए बनाते हैं कि किसी न किसी तरह से हमें उसका क्या करना है अपना एफर्ट मिनिमाइज करना है सिस्टम की एफिशिएंसी बढ़ानी है और आपको चीजों को मिनिमम फोर्स लगाना है एंड ऑब्वियसली अनदर थिंग इज द कॉस्ट जो हम देखते हैं कोई बच्चा ये बोल सकता है कि सर आप दस पुली फिर लगा दो थ्रोटिकली यू कैन यूज इट But thing is that, what will be the optimum thing? Are you getting my point? जैसे जैसे आप पुली बढ़ाते जाओगे वैसे वैसे क्या करेगा Cost भी आपका बढ़ता चला जाएगा So ये सारे चीज को ध्यान में रख करके हम चीजों को ऑप्टिमाइज करते हैं Are you getting my point? Sir. Yes, okay. sir. Okay. Good. So this is all about from my side of some pulley problem. So let's go for सम सूडो फोर्स प्रॉब्लम सो नेक्स्ट हम लोग हाफ एन आवर कुछ सूडो फोर्स के प्रॉब्लम को करने की कोशिश करते हैं अप टू दैट एवरी वन इज कंफर्टेबल सो नाउ आई होप आपको अब टेंशन के डायरेक्शन में कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं होना चाहिए है ना सर okay so obviously whenever you have some accelerated frame then you have to work with what pseudo force for example let us go for one very basic problem what is this problem this is a very interesting one so we are just using this lift problem so suppose we have this particular mass m and uh, suppose it is going downward with acceleration a ye kis direction mein ja raha hai pure ke pura lift downward ja raha hai acceleration a se now what we we have to calculate we have to calculate that what will be value of a so what will be value of a such that normal force is mg by 3 i think this is correct one let me just check sahi likha hu ya nahi sorry normal force will be mg by 4 so that we can go for correct answer नॉर्मल फोर्स कितना है एम जी बाई फोर हो जाए आपका सो नॉर्मल फोर्स विल बी एम जी बाई फोर दिस मस्ट बी सो वॉट विल बी योर एक्सलेशन ए नॉट सो हाउ यू विल अप्रोच दिस टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम नाउ फर्स्ट वॉट यू विल डू यू विल जस्ट मेक योर थिंग स्टेशनरी नाउ दिस विल बी एम सो वेट इज डाउनवर्ड एम जी एंड नॉर्मल फोर्स इज वॉट अपवर्ड ओके and now hence it is accelerated then you can put the observer here so when you will put observer here and it is going to accelerated with acceleration a then obviously this observer will appeared as what no this 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 observer Not will move itself downward with what acceleration a acceleration so this observer is at inertial frame or non inertial frame non inertial non inertial frame, frame. so what will happen there must be one pseudo force is going to apply on this particular problem so what will happen so there is one more force is there and what will be what will be value of pseudo force 
एम ए वॉट विल वैल्यू ऑफ सूडो फोर्स मास ऑफ अ पार्टिकल मास ऑफ अ पार्टिकल इन टू एक्सलरेशन ऑफ ऑब्जर्वर एंड इन विच डायरेक्शन Opposite to direction of observer, isn't it? Yes, sir. है ना? So now, what is the what is basic? And now this is just stuck on this particular thing. It is not moving upward with respect to this particular surface. So what will happen? Mg minus n minus ma must be equal to zero. And what is your value of n? कितना आप normal force चाहते हो? So you can have mg minus mg by 4 is equal to ma so a is equal to what 3 by 4 into g isn't it now agar aap socho ki ye bahut tezi se niche aa jaye to kya hoga suppose g se zyada acceleration se niche aa jaye to kya hoga what is going to happen ऊपर उड़ना शुरू हो जाएगा इज एंड है ना बिकॉज दिस वैल्यू दिस ए एम ए विल बी वेरी वेरी लार्ज एंड इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू होल्ड दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर सर्फेस एंड इट मे क्रिएट अ वेरी डिस्टर्बिंग थिंग है ना आप अगर इसी कारण कभी भी लिफ्ट को फ्री फॉल नहीं करा सकते है इज एंड है ना so we have always keep in mind all this thing okay chalo so let's try to go for one more problem aur ise zara karne ki koshish karte hain okay yahan tak clear hai na yes sir okay let's try to go for one more problem zyada problem to aate nahi hai but yes jo bhi basic questions hain jo hum log plus 2 se dekhte aa rahe hain main usko ek bar aapko revise karwa de raha hu okay obviously these all are जस्ट आवर प्लस टू प्रॉब्लम ना द फर्स्ट टाइम आपने एस सी वर्मा या यूरोडोलेट शुरू किया होगा तो ऐसे प्रॉब्लम मिले होंगे yes? किया है कभी सॉल्व एस सी वर्मा सॉल्व किया है ना यूरोडोव नहीं सॉल्व किया तो कोशिश तो होते हैं लेकिन टाइम बहुत है। इवन यू कैन सोल्व यूरोडो प्रॉब्लम फॉर फन ऑल्सो ठीक है एनी वे सो दिस इज योर मास ऑफ अ पार्टिकल एम नाउ क्वेश्चन इज दैट व्हाट विल बी एक्सल हॉरिजेंटल एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ योर वेज सच दैट दिस पार्टिकल एंड दिस एंगल इज थीटा ओके सच दैट दिस पार्टिकल विल रेस्ट ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर सरफेस this particle will not move on this particular surface and all these thing are frictionless so if this thing is frictionless then what will happen the weight is here mg everyone is comfortable and one component will be also there that value is what mg sin theta and another component is here which will provide the normal so that value is equal to mg cos theta and this is your direction of normal so if there is not any frictional force no one can stop this mass to fall down everyone is comfortable no one can stop this mass to fall down it is bound to fall down everyone is comfortable yes now what we have to do we have to give the acceleration of this particular wedge such that there must be some pseudo force will act on this particular mass and the yes. component of that pseudo force along yes. the plane of this particular plane must be in upward direction then only this is going to stop isn't it yes sir ab mera question ye hai कि इस ब्लॉक को मैं राइट की तरफ ले जाऊं या लेफ्ट की तरफ ले जाऊं सर लेफ्ट की तरफ पक्का देखते हैं सो सपोज हाउ यू विल गो फॉर दिस यू विल जस्ट कीप ऑब्जर्वर ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर सरफेस बिकॉज इसी सरफेस के रेस्पेक्ट में इसको रोकना है सो so ऑब्जर्वर को यहां पर खड़ा कर दिया एंड इफ यू आर 
मूविंग द होल थिंग टूवर्ड्स राइट चलो पहले एक बार राइट की तरफ लेकर जाते हैं टूवर्ड्स राइट विथ एक्सलेशन ए नॉट देन वॉट विल हैपन दिस पर्सन विल बी फील सम एक्सलेशन ए नॉट सो इट इज एट नॉन इनर्शियल फ्रेम सो वॉट विल हैपन दिस मास विल फील सम स्यूडो फोर्स एंड वॉट विल बी दैट स्यूडो फोर्स Towards right or left? Left. Towards left. Towards left in this direction, yes. isn't it? And the what is value of that pseudo force? M into a naught. So this is the direction of pseudo force. That is what M into a naught. Now what will happen? So if is the direction of pseudo force, the one acceleration will be the component of acceleration will be in this side. And what will happen? This will fall down more with more acceleration. Isn't it? इसका जो कंपोनेंट लोगे इस डायरेक्शन में एक कंपोनेंट इधर आ जाएगा दूसरा कंपोनेंट इधर आएगा सो इट विल फॉल विथ वेरी हाई एक्सेलरेशन मोर एक्सेलरेशन देन जी साइन थीटा सो ऑब्वियसली दिस अरेंजमेंट इज नॉट करेक्ट दिस अरेंजमेंट इज नॉट करेक्ट सो वॉट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू जस्ट एक्सेलरेट दिस पर्टिकुलर वेज इन विच डायरेक्शन इन द डायरेक्शन टूवर्ड्स लेफ्ट किस डायरेक्शन में ले जाए टूवर्ड्स लेफ्ट लेफ्ट में ले जाने से क्या होगा दिस पर्सन द पर्सन हुई सिटिंग ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर पर्टिकुलर सरफेस विल ऑन द एक्सेलरेटेड फ्रेम सो देर इज वन फोर्स दैट इज एक्टिंग ऑन विच डायरेक्शन एम ए नॉट इन दिस डायरेक्शन एंड नाउ वी कैन टेक अ कंपोनेंट दैट दिस वैल्यू इज वॉट एम जी साइन थीटा and what will be component of this one along this direction kya hoga m may not cos m a not cos theta m may not cos theta and here you have two component one component is mg sin theta and another component is m a not sorry mg cos theta mg cos theta and m a not sin theta so this is just going to balance this particular normal these two forces but yes it have to be rest at this particular point so what will happen m a not cos theta must be equal to mg sin theta so a not is equal to what g tan theta now you can see now if your acceleration is more than g tan theta then what is going to happen if your acceleration is suppose 2 g tan theta then what is going to happen this particle will start upward. moving upwards upward so it may be possibility that you are accelerating this thing in this direction and this particle will move upward due to this particular pseudo force so look at this concept of pseudo force everyone is comfortable kuch puchna hai hmm chalo so let's try to go for a final problem aur uske baad hum log iske baad aap practice kar sakte ho sare questions khud laga sakte ho okay so yahan tak clear hai ye yes sir ओके ओके सो लेट्स ट्राई टू गो फॉर दिस वन सो दिस इज वन मास there is some small pulley just for the support and there is another mass okay and both mass have same weight and the coefficient of friction between these two are mu the coefficient of friction here is also mu and here is also mu and what you are going to do you are just giving it in a not direction towards right so what should be the minimum value of a not such that these two masses will remain rest are you getting my point kya hoga minimum value a not ka 
जिससे कि ये दोनों मासेस क्या हो जाए नॉट मिनिमम इट शुड बी ये ये बड़ा बोला दिस इज ब्लॉक दिस इज ब्लॉक आप पूरा का पूरा बड़ा ब्लॉक है एंड दिस इज फ्रिक्शन लेस ओके सो यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्सेलरेशन सच दैट दिस टू मासेस विल रेस्ट विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू कैपिटल एम क्या होगा एट द इक्लोप्रियम so there are two chances if you have very high acceleration then what will happen the pseudo force will act into this direction yes this is the direction of acceleration so pseudo force will act into this direction and it can pull it in this direction isn't it so but we need a minimum a not so if we are talking about the minimum a not what will we chance such that this particle will go downward obviously when you have this particular tension so what will be the natural chance that this particle will move towards right or towards left towards right towards right okay and we have to just keep this thing rest with respect to capital m so what will be direction of frictional force here towards left yes. frictional force okay and due to this acceleration what will be direction of pseudo force for this mass left towards left, left. left. towards left. left and what is the value of this thing m into a not now let us come to this one what is going to happen this mass is mg and obviously normal is in this direction and this will be the value of mg and this is frictionless so there is not any problem now this will be the exact tension for this particular mass now what will be pseudo force in this particular mass is that any pseudo force in this particular mass also yes sir yes towards right or left left left, left. Uh, this will be n in this direction okay and what is frictional force in this particular small mass upward force toward upward because we are just oh, this is your frictional force now what will be direction of sorry this will be direction of pseudo force okay so what will be direction of normal force here toward right towards okay. right so this is direction of normal force now let us try to write the equation of motion so when we are going to write the equation of motion so obviously m a not plus frictional force minus tension must be equal to zero because it is rest with respect to this this is for this mass what will be frictional force here for the limiting case mu mg mu n so this for this mass the frictional force is what mu into n and n can be balanced with what weight that will be mu into mg minus t is equal to 0 now let's come to this one what is going to happen for this one mg minus tension minus frictional force must be equal to 0 and what will be frictional force here यहां पर फ्रिक्शनल फोर्स क्या होगा म्यू एम ए नॉट वेरी गुड सो दैट वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू माइनस म्यू एम ए नॉट व्हाई दैट बिकॉज एन इज इक्वल टू एंड यू कैन से एन वन हियर इसको आप एन वन कह दो इसको आप एन टू कह दो ठीक है एन वन इज इक्वल टू एम ए नॉट एंड हियर फॉर दैट वन एन टू इज इक्वल टू एम जी ओके सो दिस इज द थिंग now we can solve this two thing completely solve kar sakte kya kya karte dono ko subtract kar de then we can easily get the answer isn't it yes sir t hamara chala jayega aur kiske term mein hame chahiye a ko g ke term mein chahiye answer and i think you will get the answer and that is a not is equal to or is equal to 
obviously sum factor of g 1 minus mu 1 plus mu you can just solve with yourself i got try karne na solve karne ka if i am not correct let me know okay so this type of problem can also be come into your exam okay but obviously in the newton's law you have to solve more and more problem but don't devote lot of time because in your examination maximum one question will come in the net examination when every one and two year there is one problem in jam examination same thing is happening but yes in just examination and tfr examination there is always a question okay so just try to practice first this question and then you can apply your brain to some different problems okay so i think i must stop here so i will start next topic okay so i feel you people learned something hai na yes sir yeah.